Hello, my name is Martin Herma. I am one of the three authors of this work and I like to introduce you our work with the name Shape Optimization using a genetic algorithm and finite element method. At the beginning, I like to introduce genetic algorithm in general. Genetic algorithm is an optimization technique based on the principles of nature selection. The method was developed by John Holland in year 1975. Genetic algorithm allows a population composed of many individuals to evolve under specific selection rules to fitness function. Fitness function is a criterion to compare what individuals are good, better or worse. Thanks to this uh, algorithm, we can deal with large amount of uh, variables. And these uh, variables are described the shape of the part. When we uh, change the shape of the part, we can decrease of stress or decrease of strain without mass grow. We can increase lifetime of the parts or eventually degrees of mass without increasing stress or deformation. Before we start optimization, we need to have a model, some description of geometry. We need to have the boundary condition like forces and constraint and fitness function. Uh, we need to have some criterion it can be maximal deformation or maximal stress, equivalent stress in the part. And this value we can get from finite element method. Can be in FreeFam. FreeFam is open source program written in C or MATLAB or Mark Mentat where, where we can call script written in Python. Then we have to set parameters. We change geometry by modifying the parameters. Paramet parameter can be coordinates of nodes or thickness of element or we can describe geometry by curves. It means parameter is control point of for example Bezier curve, spline and so on. When we have a description of geometry and boundary condition like forces and constraints, we need specify individuals. Generation is made from individuals and individuals are formed from parameters. It means number of parameters is equal to size of individual and each of individuals are rated by fitness function. When we have specified individuals, we can form population. There is three ways to create first population. It's to up to us how many individuals are in population. We can manually set the parameters and make individuals, or we can randomly generate in right intervals, or we can do tournament. It's something like pre-process algorithm when we start individuals randomly generated and then after a while we choose choose the best individuals and these best individuals create first population. When we have first population we need to know how to cre create next population. There is two process one process is crossover and uh, the next one is mutation. I start with crossover. Crossover is recombination of individuals to create children. It means children are made from parameters from the individuals what create the children. And stronger individuals have more children than the weakest one. There is a visualization of easy crossover when two first parameters of uh, individual one and second two parameters of individuals two create children. We have some limits here and we have visualization of the children.
Second process is mutation. It's simply it can be done by multiply by constant. Uh, we have some maximum of person change and some of parameters can be multiplied with this constant. Not the all because not all parameters must be mutated. On this slide we can compare how value of person change can be depend on the fast of converging. Here the best one is the red one and has 9% of change mutation. It doesn't mean the 9% of change is the best. It depends on task. This, this one is task of optimization not sh on the shaft. Another way of mutation is when we generate the value of n in intervals 0 to 1 and we get mutation between two parameters. The important thing on the algorithm is the time of iteration. Here I show the two ways how we can speed up the algorithm written in MATLAB. When we use properties of a global stiffness matrix, a global stiffness matrix is a band sparse matrix. It means the most of elements are equal, equal to zeros. So in MATLAB we can use function sparse and argument is some matrix and we can work just with non-zero elements and it made iteration faster. Here is the picture of the global stiffness matrix with just 45 nodes. The green one is a positive number, red one is the negative number and the white, it's most, most of uh, white element, it's zero and we don't save this value and we can work with less amount of number. Here is the second way how we can speed up the algorithm. In each iteration, a stiffness matrix of element same just multiply by different volume. Volume depends on thickness. Uh, we can prepare stiffness matrix of all elements and just multiply by volume in the iteration. We, when we change the thickness of element, it's the case when we use this speed up method. And now I show two examples of using genetic algorithm optimization. One example is optimization of notch on shaft and the second example is mass distribu distribution on beam. Now let's show first example of notch on the shaft. Here we have some geometry on shaft. We try to describe the geometry of the notch by two different ways. One way is Bezier curve and the next one is polyline. As optimization criterion was use maximal equivalent stress in the part and notch with circular shape is used as reference. On this slide it show how the program look in MATLAB. We can see process of fitness function and the shape of notch. The orange line is reference circle notch and the blue one is the Bezier curve. And here we have compare of results. The second example of using genetic algorithm is bending segments of any shape. I prepare animation of the process of the optimization and I will run the video now. Let's see this animation. On the left side is process of fitness function. Fitness function is max beam deflection. On the right is bending beam. Here is fixed on right and left side. It's red circle mark. And the green elements are more thickness, 
the dark element is less thickness. At the beginning, the fitness function go really fast down, but after a while, it's hard to find better children, so the parents are better than children. <laughs> when we are satisfying with the result of a genetic algorithm we can do get model from algorithm here is the second animation another bending segment in shape l the same on the left is fitness function and on the right is the part. We can see load case, constraint, forces and the thickness of element. And again, from result, we can do get model. And at the end, the little conclusion, genetic algorithm is useful and efficient for significant minimization of stress concentration or deformation of component at the specific location. This can be important for lifetime of parts. In this presentation is shown just two examples of using algorithm. But once we have a description of part geometry and low cases, we can optimize shape of any parts.